Hello, this is Eric Bobro, and in this lesson we're going to be looking at layers and views. We're using the view map because it gives greater control than the project map. Uh, that was in the previous lesson. But what defines a view? Here we are looking at this project, and we've got certain layers turned on and certain context. And let's say that this is a view that we'd like to return to, possibly to, to put it onto a layout sheet as a drawing or because this is a, a good mode for working in for doing some design work. I simply will go and click on this button here in the uh, view map. It says save current view. This button is available whenever we have the view map active which is this one rather than the project map. You'll see how the buttons here look different. When I'm in the view map we have this button available called save current view click on that. It then immediately shows the view settings and the current state of the world, in other words, what layers are turned on, scale, etc. And we're going to be looking at the definition of this um, and explaining it in some detail. So right now I'll just say that it brings this up and you can simply say create and there's a new view. You can see it's been highlighted on the right side. Uh, it went, in this case, since I had highlighted the folder it went to the bottom of the folder. Now in other versions of ARCHICAD, for example ARCHICAD 10, 11, 12, I think, um, it uh, would go near the top of the list and uh, shove all of the other ones down. I think in um, at some point in ARCHICAD 13 or 14, graphs have changed it so it shows up at the bottom of the list. Now with this um, view highlighted, we can see some of its properties, so a little short summary of some of the properties. And if we want to look at them in detail, we can click on the Settings button and see the same information again. Uh, perhaps we can change the, the layer combination if we want. Say, oh, really, I wanted to show the electrical information um, here rather than the furniture. Um, and perhaps I can change the name from the project map name, which would be the name of the viewpoint. In this case, the story, which is called the first floor here in the U.S. Um, for the main entry floor. Or I can change this to a custom name and, for example, call it uh, My New View. So I'm giving it a special name. I say OK. And we'll see that some of the information has changed. We're seeing different um, elements drawn. And the name has changed here in the view map. And it's also changed down below. So in fact, I can change the name here and say uh, this was uh, electrical, I believe. Um, and uh, so I can change this, and as I change it here, it will change up above. Now the number one here is inherited from the um, viewpoint. In this case, uh, the stories are uh, indicated. If I go back here, you see each story, and the current story has a number. And in uh, international version, the main floor or ground floor would be zero. Here in the U.S. it's one. But regardless, it does have a number and that number is going to be inherited here, but if I want, I can delete it and say, no, I don't really want a number, um, and then you can see the name just becomes uh, displayed without uh, the number. So that's really optional. It is something that uh, can be used for alphabetic sorting in certain cases, this uh, ID number, uh, particularly for details and worksheets where we are going to create perhaps quite a few. Now, once I've got one particular drawing um, or view created, if I have any view selected and I say I'd like to create a new one uh, here and say create, it will put this right above or below. And in version 14, it puts it right below the uh, view that was previously highlighted, whereas the um, uh, I think in earlier versions of ARCHICAD, it may have uh, put it above the view that was highlighted. Uh, in any event, it will show up there, and uh, we can edit it as I showed you just a minute ago. Now, there's a button here that allows us to delete views. When I tell it to delete views, it does give us a warning saying that this is not undoable, so you know, be careful. Now, deleting a view does not delete the elements in that view. It doesn't delete the actual walls or objects, but it does delete the definition that says show this viewpoint, perhaps the story or the section or whatever, with certain layers and certain contexts. So 
there's a little bit of work that goes into defining a view and you're going to lose that if you delete it and of course in this case not a problem I just delete it and I'll delete the other one that I created as well now there is an extra warning here it says if this view is part of a clone its clone will also be deleted I'll be explaining clone folders in a separate lesson of the course and I'll explain what this means but basically there are folders that you see up here that have a, a, a normal uh, simple icon and it's not a problem we can just go ahead and delete the view like this but views that are defined like this here that have a special symbol and there's some variations like that these are called clone folders and if you delete any view within a one of them it will actually delete the folder the definition for that view style so be careful if you get that warning um, if you're inside a clone because you'll actually delete multiple views all at the same time not necessarily a good idea uh, now let's take a look at the view settings um, so I'll uh, double click on interior design here and this will return the view uh, to the settings that are part of this and you can see here's our brief summary and let's look at the settings of a view now the view has an ID in this case it has a, a blank ID in other words I'm not using the project map information and I'm not going custom uh, here I had it as blank or we can just do none then the, the uh, view has a name which could be inherited from the project map or it could be custom um, and it does have a source which is the viewpoint in the project map you'll notice that this is not editable once you create a view it's linked to a particular viewpoint and you can't actually move it to refer to a different viewpoint that's one limitation when you create a view it's always linked to a particular viewpoint in the project map now in general there are a number of things that are the primary focus points of a view for example the layer combination and we'll be looking at layer combinations in detail in this section uh, but they determine what is shown so layers have to do with what you see scale has to do with how big or small the elements are in relationship to being printed on paper and in relationship to certain elements defined by paper size such as certain markers or pen weights that are defined by how big they are going to be on paper the structure display which was added into I think ARCHICAD 11 or 12 um, is uh, an option to show only part of the walls or part of the structural elements rather than the entire um, element the pen set has to do with the colors and weights of the pens that elements are being drawn with and while we may end up with just one or two or three pen sets that we use regularly there can be as many different variations as you might find useful for presentation or for working with imported drawings for example model view options these have to do with how things are seen in other words if something is seen like a wall is it seen with a lot of detail such as all of the component skins or parts uh, the sheathing or cladding as well as the structure uh, with uh, hatching and fill patterns or is it shown in just a simple uh, shaded or pochade view or just an empty view with two parallel lines for example so model view options affect that as well as things like how the doors and windows are shown for example on a ceiling plan we're going to um, have the doors and windows show quite differently than they do on a floor plan so these are the most primary um, settings that are part of a view and we'll be spending a lot of time in this lesson on layers and we'll be looking at the other ones in some other lessons later in the course some secondary um, settings that aren't changed as frequently would have to do with floor plan cut plane settings and this has to do with what height above the current story here's four feet it's typical in the US but one meter or 1.2 meters might be uh, something for uh, international use and this has to do with where we see the doors and windows um, and you can vary this for example for a clear story plan or for different um, split level conditions dimensions there again may be 
the number of different variations that you use in a project, and this has to do with the level of accuracy and style that the dimension annotation is shown on a plan drawing or on any drawing. Uh, the uh, zooming we're going to take a look at in a follow-up lesson, but basically each view can record a particular uh, location in the viewpoint, um, a particular zoom, or perhaps ignore the zoom. And you can create views not only for plans and sections, but you can also, and, and other draftable views, but you can also create um, views that record 3D positions and orientations and styles. And uh, we'll be looking at that later on in the course, uh, but this can record particular information about the 3D view. So that's a very brief introduction to the view settings. We're going to now start looking at layers and layer combinations because they are arguably the most important part of the view settings since they control what we see as opposed to how we see it.